So on to some good news. We already have over 1,300 registered developers interested in Horizon. So this spans you know, a bunch of different platforms like the um, HDE, uh, Heap, uh, and just you know, or, or GitHub, and just getting people to um, you know, register for the webinar. And that's pretty fantastic, actually. 1,300 developers is, is pretty amazing because we're actually working with some other, um, say, like communication platforms, uh, like developer communication platforms, where we started working with them because they have something like three to 5,000 developers on the platform. And this, after a few weeks, maybe a month's worth of effort, we have 1,300 registered developers. And uh, because these developers have been actually working with us on, on you know, filling out surveys so that we can understand a little bit more about the composition of, of our developer community, uh, yes, we have a, a large amount of uh, junior developers, but we also have a really healthy mix there of you know, mid and senior developers. So it's actually uh, pretty amazing that we've been able to put this together so far. So that I, I fully credit the, you know, the marketing and you know, engineering and product teams for all collaborating, working together just to, to build the platforms to start getting people to join. Now we have the big task of not just having emails and uh, a way of communicating communicating with developers, but actually getting them to start doing productive things, right? So ultimately we want developers to start building, deploying and maintaining side chains. And doing this ourselves, we're realizing that it's, it's non-trivial. Either going from launching a side chain to keeping that side chain alive is non-trivial. And we're building a whole bunch of documentation that we're gonna continue pressing on to, to mature so that um, people know how to do this in detail, um, whether it's passive documentation to uh, things like the webinar that was a, a very, very big success. And thanks to the team and community for pulling that off so, so well. But we also need to continue doing that. We need to continue developing video content and all sorts of other instructional content to just help our developer community um, start deploying uh, sidechains. Now, uh, also we want the developers to start contributing to the open source repositories that we have available on GitHub, and in particular, highlighting the open tasks on HDE. Uh, these are things that, um, like Jonathan mentioned, we're gonna be accelerating by, by cleverly using, we hope cleverly, using incentives to bring more developers in, but also to encourage contributions. So not just, again, this isn't an exercise in just getting uh, high numbers of developers, because high numbers of developers that do nothing it is ultimately meaningless. We need to make sure that we're now getting a very virtuous feedback loop here, so the developers are are being productive and contributing where where you know we think they should and where they think they should. Um, and ultimately, what I love about this is developers. We want to teach us um, what types of tools they want, what kinds of environments they want to work in, what kinds of incentives they're looking for, uh, and ultimately, uh, we we look at our SDK as a product and we want to continuously improve that product. And the only way to improve the product truly is not just to guess what people want, but to actually get that feedback directly. So these 1300 developers you know, registered now is a nice starting point. It's not something that we wanna brag about numbers, but it's something that now we need to start learning from. So we want the feedback, we want the interactive uh, interactiveness from these developers. And ultimately we want to you know, get people to be excited about this project and build and contribute. So the last thing that I'll mention is the blockchain factory is standing up. This was something I mentioned last week, uh, but it's something that I'm really passionate about and, and is a new, a new development, a new direction for the project. Uh, going from the core technology development to now um, spinning up a team that's dedicated to deploying that technology is huge. It's extremely important. And now this uh, blockchain factory, as I call it, really is a product team. The product team is standing up. And now they're, they're working on the tools, techniques, and processes for how we scope work to find requirements with customers, build, deploy, and maintain blockchains. And by blockchains, I mean our side chains. Uh, so we're working through the kinks right now. Uh, the team's just formed uh, and right away starting to tackle some of the early issues with actually using the SDK and, and keeping the side chains alive. And we're learning a ton in the process. And uh, so Rosari has mentioned the team composition before. I'll quickly reiterate it because it's so important. Uh, Rosari is leading the team. Maurizio is uh, heavily supporting on the, the very senior uh, technical side. Paolo, lead developer for the team. Luca, you know, obviously just, like, always indispensable. Marco on the development side. Gustavo supporting by advising and, and just helping point the team in the right direction. But that's just the start. Um, and here we're, we're kicking off a major hiring process. Uh, mainly through Horizon Labs, and Horizon Labs is going to be contributing some heavy technical talent to this product team. 
starting with the SDK API product manager role that's already been open for the last week. And I've just ha had a ton of fun with Rosario on the team triaging candidates and so excited to see the, the high quality of candidates that are already coming through. Um, that now we're going to be, uh, you know, we've done the initial screening and we're going to be doing some initial phone calls of an interviewing and just getting them through the cycle. Through this open position, we have identified some really senior uh, developers that could, you know, not, not necessarily be on the product manager side, but actually be on the development side and maybe architect side. Uh, so we'll also be looking for a um, product architect for this team so that we can, you know, again, work through requirements, work with customers, and think about these verticals uh, so that we can deploy the SDK into particular industry verticals uh, and, and really do this from a very senior perspective. Uh, we know that documentation is a key element here, so we're going to be hiring a technical writer for documentation uh, specifically, and then developers, because we need a lot more developers on the team, and we're going to be opening uh, significant positions here. At a minimum, hiring four to six developers, Java devs, specifically for this team. We're looking Milan directly to join the team there in person. Also looking at opening uh, US, uh, US positions here and then uh, looking global. So there's no reason to constrain geographically, but we do want to have clusters of developers and, and get them to work together. Um, so anyway, super exciting. And um, you know, ultimately we're going to be turning our own team um, to work, well, I, I would say immediately with a very high, high profile client uh, or partner, I should say, that we're going to be announcing and we're just waiting for that press release to go live. Uh, but the team's already working now and uh, really excited. This is the start of really new phase for the project.